What's going on all my toy collectors and Superman fans out there? You know who it is. It's your boy Ox. And today we're going to be taking a look at my 1995 Man of Steel collection by Kenner. Now this right here is almost the entire collection. I think I'm missing one piece, which is a Kryptonian battle suit. It's like a robotic suit that Superman could fit inside. I was never able to find it in stores, and that's why I don't have it in my collection. I didn't want to buy it now because the secondary price is crazy right now, like everything else on eBay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. We're not going to be unboxing these toys because I don't unbox my vintage toys that I didn't play with when I was little. So we're just going to be taking an up-close look at these inside the package, all right? And see why these toys deserve a spot here in the cave of wonders let's get to it okay now i just want to let you guys know that we're not going to be taking a look at these figures in any certain order or wave that they had came out in because i'm not sure what figures came out first and what waves we're just going to start off with the single card of figures the deluxe the two packs and then the vehicles okay now all these single carded figures all have the same size box seven inches long by 12 inches tall by one and a half inches in depth so that's how much shelf space you're going to need if you're going to be splaying it on a shelf or possibly on a peg hook hanging it up on a wall okay now starting off first we're going to go ahead and take a look at power flight superman you can see on the front of all these boxes right here they all have that big superman logo that lets you know that this is the man of steel logo because kenner also came out with the superman animated series which the box looks different and the figures look more like the car cartoon at that time kind of like the batman the animated series okay like i said let you know right here it says ages four and up she has that big superman sign right there let you know right here superman man of steel the name of the figure we're going to be looking at is power flight superman with takeoff force arm action and then it has a clear window right here and it shows you the figure inside with his classic suit that 90s mullet that superman was popular for having back in the 90s and then he has this huge chain right here and um i think you're able to fit like the enemy's uh, hands inside there if you want to like kind of like lock them up now i don't know if you guys watch my dc multiverse reviews where i always talk about the extras like the stands and the collector's cards that's pretty cool that mcfarland does that because all these old figures most of them all had the cards i don't know if you guys remember the legends of batman they all had card collector's cards too and that's just really cool anything extra you can give me for the money i'm about to spend on your product is a bonus for me now that right there is the figure inside on the back it just gives you a little checklist of a couple other figures that came out this isn't all of them this is just some of them that had came out at that time you guys can pause it if you guys want to read up on it you guys can see those two packs right there with massacre and with doomsday the superboy's vehicle and this right here is the instructions on exactly how to use the action feature which is uh you know you push his arms down you flick his right arm up and they swing up this right here lets you know how to attach that chain to the figure's wrists and wrap it around other figures for capturing and right there's a proof of purchase. You guys can pause that. But yeah, right there was Power Flight Superman. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, up next we're taking a look at Conduit. The same size box as that other one. Like I said, all the single uh, the single card figures all have the same size box. Taking a look right here it says Conduit with spinning kryptonite cables, attack cables. You can see the figure right here inside. You can see how the cables he comes with. He comes with a little helmet right there. And then he comes with that collector's card, which you guys can kind of see his face right there. But yeah. Really cool looking figure. I had a lot of these figures actually that I played with when I was little out of the box, but um, I ended up giving them to my kids and after a while they got broke, arms broke off or the joints got really loose. But I didn't, I didn't actually have this figure growing up when I was little. Taking a look at the back, you can see the same, almost the same figures that were on the other box we just looked at. And this right here just shows you his action feature, place his helmet on his head, attach the cables to his left arms, his right arms, and um, you know, cables, uh, all the cables, basically, you can use them to uh, attack Superman, basically. There's like a little wheel on his back. You just spin it and the, uh, all the cables spin around, basically. That right there is a proof of purchase. Let you know it's made by Kenner. Okay, now right here we have my boy Steel. This is actually one of the figures because he actually has two figures in this collection. He has another one which is like kind of like that vacuum metal, that like metallic look. Taking a look up close, you can see his collector's card. You can see right through the bubble, he has his uh, hammer right there. And then you can see the figure right here. It's more of like a bluish tone, kind of like a steel, which uh, I don't know if you guys seen the new uh, steel figure that McFarlane is releasing. It kind of has that same uh, bluish tone for that figure as well. I would really like it if it was the chrome figure, but you know, knowing McFarlane, I'm sure he'll... Um, you know, make like a, a gold label one and, you know, it'd be all like that vac, that vac metal, uh, uh, shiny metal, that metallic metal basically. But this right here was still a really cool figure. I actually had this one when I was little and I loved it. Like it says steel, AKA John Henry irons with pounding hammer blows. So, yep, pretty cool looking figure. Same dimensions as the other ones. 
Taking a look at the back, the same figures that um, we've seen on the other back of the mother boxes. This right here shows you the instructions on uh, how to work his action feature right there. You know, just position the hammer as it's shown right there. Squeeze the figure's feet together and the upper body will turn and basically he'll swing that hammer around knocking people around, all right? But yeah, really cool figure. I always like the steel figure. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now up next we're taking a look at Street Guardian Superman. Same size box. You can see right here this one has a little bonus collector's card included. That's what it says, but all of, all of them had collector's cards, so I'm not sure exactly why they put that right on the box. But I'm not sure because it also has this little age four and up warning that uh, the other ones don't have. You guys don't see that on the other boxes. So not sure exactly why they put it on this one. This right here is a little price tag. You can see that this thing came from Walmart for $5.94. I didn't buy it from Walmart. I bought this in a huge lot when I was a teenager from somebody. Then right here it says Street Guardian Superman with swinging battle chain and uh, armor shield. And then right there, you can see the figure inside. I love that black coat. You can see his little shield right here, his chain, that collector's card back there. Now, uh, if you guys are Superman fans and you guys watch the Smallville series, you guys can remember that when he ended up moving to Metropolis, he had that black coat on. That was just really cool to me just because, like I said, you know, uh, being born in the 80s and in the 90s playing with these toys. And I remember that Superman cartoon and everything and seeing his suit and just how it was and seeing him wearing that black coat was just really cool to me kind of reminded me of like blade or something man i thought that was really dope but yeah now i have a little story about this figure actually it's called the street guardian superman there is actually supposed to be a street guardian superboy that was supposed to come out and i'm going to show you guys real quick it actually was supposed to come out but it didn't get released this right here is one of my kenner toy fair catalogs one of the ones i'm going to be taking a look at soon this is the 1996 one and you guys can see right there Street Guardian Superboy right there and you can see the figure we're looking at right now Street Guardian Superman But they never ended up releasing that figure. They were released a figure that kind of looked like him Which was Robin for the Batman Forever uh, movie that had came out They had like a, a Street Rider Robin or something like that and it kind of looked like that He had a bandana on and stuff and he had like a leather jacket, but yeah, they never ended up releasing that figure right there so um you know, it's not missing in my collection. When I first was going through this book, I'm like, man, I think I'm missing that figure. And I was like, hold on, they never released it, actually. So I just want to let you guys see that real quick. But yeah, go ahead and take a look at them up close. Like I said, love that jacket. Love that look. You can see he has like that, um, his hair just brushed back. He doesn't have that long mullet on this figure right here. On the back, you can see a bunch of other figures that weren't on the back of the box for all the mother ones. I also don't have this statue right here, this really big Superman statue, just because I wasn't a statue fan. So I didn't really ever buy statues. So I passed on that as well. But it was part of this collection. It just wasn't an action figure or something that fit inside the vehicles or nothing. Like I said, you can see a bunch of other um, figures right now that were coming out. A couple other two packs. This right here is that Kryptonian battle suit I was telling you guys that I ended up not having. So we'll take a closer look at that in a second. This right here just shows the instructions on how to work his uh, action feature. You just snap the chain in his hand, snap the shield on, squeeze his legs, and he rotates that chain around, all right? This right here is that Kenner logo, proof of purchase. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, up next we got Lex Luthor, Superman's main bad guy that he always has to deal with. Taking a look at the front right here, you can see it says, with squirting hornet attack jetpack. So I don't know why it says Hornet, but that's what it says. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool. You can see right here in the bubble that uh, you can see he comes with this huge backpack that kind of hooks onto him with these like wings right here. I actually didn't have this figure as well growing up. Um, so I don't actually know how the, uh, the action features work, but we'll see it on the back. Then it has something right there. I'm not sure what that is, maybe a sticker or something. But it also has that bonus collector's card that's included in here, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. You can see some more figures that are gonna be we're gonna be taking a look at that came out in this wave or came out in this collection. This right here in the instructions on how to hook that um, hook that armor basically to Lex Luthor and how to use it. Yeah, really cool figure. Like I said, I didn't have this figure growing up, so. Now up next, we got my main man, Superboy. This figure right here, there's actually supposed to be two Superboy figures that were supposed to be released in this Man of Steel line. One of them ended up getting held off and put in a two-pack, which I'll show you guys pretty soon. But there was supposed to be another Superboy, and I'll show you guys in a minute, okay? But like I said, this is Superboy with Mammoth uh, Capture Claw and Taser Missiles. And I love this figure. 
McFarlane just started releasing some of these uh, uh, Death of Superman or um, like, you know, when Superman had died, um, when the figures, when all the Superman started coming out, like uh, the Steel figure and the Eradicator and all them and Superboy. So it actually looks just like this. So I love it that McFarlane paid a lot of homage to these old Kenner figures and to the comics, obviously, because that's what these were based off of. But yep, he has a collector's card back there. Same size box. On the back, this must have came out in like one of the first waves because it's only showing like five figures right here and the same two packs and the first few figures that we looked at. I didn't have this figure growing up as well, but you just basically put that mammoth claw um, and the taser missile on the figure's arm, you know, and you can, um, you know, basically like, like, you know, punch it out or whatever and shoot and you just tap that little hole right there and I'm sure it shoots out, you know, and it just launches the missile. But yep, pretty cool figure. This right here is really cool. I just never was able to come across him when I was a kid. Okay, now up next we have Solar Suit Superman with Space Probe launch backpack. Sounds kind of funny, Space Probe. But yeah, it has that same uh, big yellow sticker right there, age four and up warning. So I'm gonna guess that maybe the first few wave, first wave that came out didn't have all this stuff right here, even though it does. they all have collector's card. So I'm gonna guess maybe that was the first wave and maybe this came out afterwards, so. But this is the figure inside. You can see that card. You can see all of his different, uh, like the backpack uh, accessories that he comes with. It comes with a different kind of suit compared to the other figures. So uh, this must be like a, some kind of space suit or something. But yeah, really cool looking figure. Like I said, rocking that same, uh, that same Superman mullet from back in the day. Taking a look at the back, you see a bunch of other figures. Ones that some of the ones we already done seen. This right here just gives you instructions how to work that action feature. Like I said, slide the backpack on, put his breathing mask on. Um, you can put the projectile into the backpack, press the tail of the uh, of the projectile, and it'll fire. The wings you can position them however you want. You can even put them in his hand to make him use them as like uh, like deflector shields, basically. Yeah, proof of purchase. Really cool looking figure. I actually had this one when I was little. Okay, now up next we have Ultra Shield Superman with Kryptonite Shield, Armor, and Blasting Rocket. This figure right here, you can see it's kind of like the one we just looked at, the Solar Power Superman right here. It has like this attached suit that you kind of put on him. A little bit cooler than that one. I actually didn't have this figure growing up right here, but he looks really awesome. Comes with a collector's card just like all the other ones. He doesn't have that mullet right here, but he does have like kind of almost like robotic arms and stuff like that. Which, like I said, is just part of his like his suit right here that he has, this solar powered suit. So, a kryptonite shield soul, uh, armor, basically. So, this right here just shows you how to hook it all on. You put his armor on, you know, put that, put his uh, his mask on, basically. You can load a projectile just like the one we just looked at. You press the tail of it, ends up shooting out. But you can also put that missile onto his arm, attach it to his arms and stuff. Really cool looking figure. I actually really like this one. He looks really awesome. Now, last but not least, this is actually one of my favorite figures in the whole entire line. This is Laser Superman with a supercharged laser cannon. I don't know if you guys remember, which I'm sure you guys do. We're all Superman fans here, basically. Um, you know, when Superman fought Doomsday and died, and then he came back, he had this, uh, this solar-powered suit, basically, which to help him... Um, absorb more radiation from the sun and then heal him a lot faster because he didn't have he wasn't as strong as he was when he had came back to life but i loved this black suit this black suit is really cool i know mcfarland had came out with a black suit superman um or solar powered suit superman but i didn't like the way that one looked i didn't like the belt i just didn't like it, it didn't look as slick as this one this one right here looks like one whole suit the one that he came out with it didn't look like that and i just love the way this looks the mullet um, you know, the shine on the chest emblem, the armbands, you know, right here, this little thing hooked to his leg. Really cool. I had this figure growing. I still had this. You know, what's funny is my youngest daughter was playing with this figure uh, just the other day. It's so funny. She was like talking to it. She has all my, a bunch of my old figures that my other kids don't play with anymore. Um, that I always let them play with, but she was playing with this figure and she was just going off on them. It was really funny. I had to take a couple pictures of it, but I love this figure. You, uh, it comes with two projectiles that fit inside of his gun right there. And then he can end up shooting them off. Other figures, ones that we already done looked at same two packs. We'll get into those later. This right here, just instructions. It shows you how to work his action feature, put the gun in his hand. He needs two hands to basically hold it, load those two projectiles right there. And there's a button in the back. You just push and ends up shooting off, right? Yeah. 
this right here is by far one of my favorite figures I had growing up. I really love this figure. Let's go ahead and get into the deluxe figures, okay? Okay, now up next, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the two deluxe figures that come in this collection, starting off with the Ultra Heat Vision Superman. This figure right here has electronic lights, electronic sounds, and a metallic chest plate. Now, this box is a bit bigger than the uh, single card of figures. Not too much, but instead of being 7 inches long, it's 8 inches long by 12 inches tall. So the same height, just uh, 1 inch difference in length. And instead of being 1.5 inches in depth, it's actually 2 inches. So make note of that when you guys are going to be displaying this on a shelf or, like I said, hanging it up on a wall on a peg hook or something, all right? Now taking a look right here, you can see this little lightning bolt that's not on the other boxes, uh, letting you know that it does have electric lights and sounds and stuff. You can see the card is right up here at the top, rather than being right here like the rest of the figures where the card is in the back behind the accessories. The card is right here for you guys to see. And then this right here is the figure right through the, cl right through the clear bubble. Now, like I said, I actually didn't have this figure growing up, so I exactly don't know how those lights work or what they look like. And I'm not going to open this up because, like I said, I don't open up my old vintage stuff that uh, that's new in the box. You know, this is basically how I teach my kids and stuff. You know, um, I show them past toys and the articulation and how far we've come, you know, from back then, you know, to now and how figures have so much really cool articulation and everything. All right. This right here shows you a bunch of the other figures that we already looked at. A vehicle now for the first time you guys can see a bunch of the other two packs rather than just the massacre and the doomsday one you guys can see that um cyberlink superman and cyberlink batman and you guys can also see that second superboy i was telling you guys about this one comes it's a two-pack comes a superboy and king shark right here now this set was actually supposed to come out with this collection the reason i don't have it because it actually didn't come out but i'm still going to get it i'm just waiting to find it for a good price because like i said you guys can see it in the kenner toy fair catalog that's him right there with that king shark figure it just wasn't it just ended up not getting released i think until hasbro when hasbro bought kenner um then they ended up releasing it in a two-pack like they did some of the other figures that were supposed to come out um but they ended up releasing it with a different line like uh, i think it was called the um superheroes uh, dc superheroes line basically so it wasn't with this man of steel line even though it was supposed to be you know but a really cool looking figure like I said, out of all of them, this is the only one that has lights. Okay, now here's the second deluxe figure that came in this collection. You can see we have Blast Hammer Steel, and um, he has a full metallic look, firing hammers, um, ratchet sounds, basically. So he must make some kind of sound or something. Taking a look at the figure, it has the same dimensions as the last one, eight foot long, or excuse me, eight, eight inches long by 12 inches tall by two inches in depth, okay? And as you can see right here, compared to the other steel figure, this one is metallic, has that vacuum, you know, metal right there, vacuum plastic, excuse me, but he looks really awesome. I just want my steel to be nice and shiny, so I love how this one looks. Even has that collector's card right up here. The deluxe figures, instead of having them back there, they had them up here. And then you can see he comes with two different hammers and he comes with a shield. Unlike the first steel, uh, steel figure that had came out. Let's see if I can grab him real quick. Yeah, right here. You can see, like I said, he has more of that like powder blue color right there. And then, um, you know, compared to this one right here, which is really shiny. So, and they don't, they don't come with the same card either. So different card right there but yep a really cool looking figure i really like this figure i didn't have this one growing up but he looks really cool i remember always wanting him so that that shiny superman logo on that shield is really awesome too this right here just shows you all the other figures the ones that we already looked at the same two packs that we're going to be we're going to be taking a look at all of them but now you can see those two packs right there and i noticed on here just like the ultra heat vision superman deluxe figure we just looked at it doesn't give you instructions on how to use his action feature so it doesn't give you instructions anywhere there but yeah but i can see that it shoots out of his hand right there one of the hammers shoots out so must shoot out right there yep Okay, now we're going to take a look at those two-pack figures. I have four different sets that came out in this collection. This right here is the Cyberlink Superman and Cyberlink Batman. Now, the box is actually going to be bigger than the other figures because it has two different figures in it. So it's going to measure out to 10 inches long by 12 inches tall by two and a half inches in depth. So if you guys remember, the deluxe figures were eight inches in 12, eight by 12 by two inches. This one right here is two and a half inches in depth. So make sure you guys keep that in mind when you guys are gonna buy this and display it on your shelves or on your guys' pegs, okay? 
Now taking a look right up here at the top, you can see the figures are up top, just like the deluxe figures. And you can see that Cyberlink Batman and Cyberlink Superman let you know that this is a limited edition. I don't know how many of these were made or anything like that or if this was some kind of exclusive. I bought all most of these figures in a set. So, and then you can see they have that uh, really shiny metallic plastic right there. Man of Steel line let you know the name of the characters. There's no action feature, no weapons that come with these figures. They do come with two Two like metallic looking stands. You can see them behind them. A Batman stand and a Superman stand right there. So, but like I said, no weapons, no kind of action feature. Take a look at the back. Shows you all the other figures, ones that we already looked at. Some of the ones we talked about, that Superboy and um and King Shark. This right here is that Kryptonite battle suit that we we're talking about. Like I said, I don't have that figure. Really nice to add that to this collection though. But yeah. Let's move on to the next one, okay? Which the next one is kind of funny because it's also called Cyberlink Superman and Cyberlink Batman. Now, I'm not sure if this collection right here was, you know, made somewhere else, like in Canada or, you know, over in the UK or something. But as you guys can see, the, the figures are painted a little bit different. And instead of them coming with cards, they come with a comic book right there in the back. It says exclusive comic book included. So like I said, no cards, just the comic book. And the figures are basically the same, just painted different. You can see Superman's chest plate is, uh, and his, um, his boots are gray, like that metallic color. And this right here, his, uh, his chest plate is all red, same heads. Same with Super with uh, Batman right there. Instead of him being all blue, this one right here, his his body is gray, and then instead of it being like metallic on his chest plate and stuff, uh, and on his shin guards or whatever, and on his forearms, you can see it's just gray or it's just blue. So, which is actually how it was supposed to look in that in that comic book, not the comic book, but the Toy Fair magazine. When you take a look at the Toy Fair magazine, you can see it looks just like that. So. Not like a bright blue, but like a darker blue. So this figure actually looks how they're supposed to look. Same with that Batman right there. So I'm not sure exactly why they decided to go ahead and make two of these. Like I said, maybe um, like this one does say limited edition on it. This one does come with a comic book compared to the other figures that didn't. But I do notice that the, uh, the two packs in this collection all come out with comic books besides this one right here. So maybe that's why this is the limited edition. But yep. Really cool looking figure. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, now we have the Massacre in Full Assault Superman 2-pack. This one right here as well comes with a comic book, so it doesn't come with those collector's cards. And uh, yeah, really cool looking figure. Same dimensions as the other uh, deluxe figures that we just, are not deluxe, but 2-packs that we just looked at. 10 inches long, 12 inches tall, by uh, two and a half inches in depth, okay? But yeah, take a look at Massacre right there. Looks really, really cool. Now, I wasn't familiar with Massacre, so I didn't know who he was growing up. I must not have just read him in the comic books. So, But as you can see, this Superman right here has some battle damage. Uh, his, uh, his suit is ripped right on his right arm. Has a big old piece missing on his, uh, on, his, uh, on his stomach muscles right there. But yeah, I didn't have this growing up either. Because like I said, I didn't know who this character was, so I didn't bother even buying it. And then you can see some of the other figures that were in this collection. We're going to be taking a look at that Doomsday right now in a second. But yeah, really awesome. Really awesome figure. Okay, now moving on to Hunter Prey Superman and Doomsday, the boss of the bad guys for Superman, man. The only man to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Man of Steel and kill him. That was a huge deal when I was a kid. Uh, I'm sure if you guys are DC fans, you guys remember, uh, you know, growing up and remember when Superman died and just how big of a deal that was and how big Doomsday was uh, to us as a kid. So I had to get this uh, toy when I, when I seen it at Walmart when I was young. And uh, I remember playing with this all the time. This was just really awesome now i can't remember if that comic book actually showed i don't think that shows the death of superman i think it just shows him going toe to toe like a story a story about him going toe to toe with this superman right here but yeah take a look at him his eyes all the all the little detail they put in on him you know for these like five six dollar figures back in the day man this this was a really cool looking doomsday so has no action features it doesn't show you that it does anything so you know, he actually reminds me of Roblox. I don't know if you guys remember when Kenner had the G.I. Joe license and they, um, you know, they did a Roblox figure, uh, uh, G.I. Joe, extreme G.I. Joes or something. That's what his body and his arm and everything look like. 
So, but yeah, really cool looking figure, man. I love this one. Like I said, it's it's uh it's second collection, second favorite compared to Laser Superman right there because I just love that really that black suit that he had. Okay, now here's that exclusive figure right here I was telling you guys about. I think, like I said, I think this only came from Toy Fair. I think you had to go to Toy Fair to get it. I didn't, obviously, because I was just a child, but uh, I bought this on the secondary market. But um, this was your only way to actually get the Eradicator. The Kryptonian Eradicator, I think if I remember his name right. And like I said, it doesn't come with any kind of weapons or anything. His cape is removable, but he looks so awesome with it on right there. But this was your only way to get him. I think he was supposed to be released in like the single waves right here because he is in the Toy Fair comic, the Toy Fair book that I have by Kenner. But uh, he was. But in order to get him, you just like I said, you had to order him from Toy Fair or something. So, but yeah, you can see he has like that translucent hands right here. You can kind of see through his hands. He has the shades on. If you guys know, uh, McFarland just did a figure of him. It was a Walmart exclusive, if I remember. And uh, like I said, I love it that he did those, uh, the Return of Superman figures, the Superboy, like I said, that uh, that solar powered suit Superman and uh, the steel figure and this one right here. Yeah, really awesome figure. It really would have been nice if they gave him a box. That way I don't have to have him hiding in here. But I'm uh, I'm going to probably get him in like a little clear display, um, a clear plastic display thing. That way I can hang him up on the hooks with the rest of these figures. Because I display all these figures. I leave them in the box, but I display them on hooks kind of like a like a, like a a toy store in my, uh, in my cave down here. But yeah, really awesome figure right here. Yep. Let's go ahead and move on to another two-pack I wanted to show you guys real quick, all right? Okay, now I want to let you guys know that this was meant to go with the Man of Steel collection when uh, Kenner had the license, but they ended up not releasing some of these figures in the two packs. They ended up just, um, you know, you know, me shelving them. And then when Hasbro took over Kenner, they ended up releasing them in this uh, DC superheroes line. So it doesn't have the Man of Steel logo on it. It's not going to say Kenner. It's going to say Hasbro like it does right there. But uh, these were meant to come out with uh, the, you know these man of steel figures as you guys can see right here that's that uh um superboy versus king shark and that right there lets you know that these these figures were supposed to come out but they just uh you know i don't know if maybe they just uh maybe the line was dying out it wasn't selling as well but your only way to get Mattello was to get him in this superhero this dc superheroes line right here now you can see right here that it's the same Superman. It just he has a different head sculpt compared to a full assault Superman right here. The same body, it's the same rip on his stomach, the the same rip on his arm right there. He just has he just doesn't have a mullet right here. And that Mattello looks awesome. Now at Toy Fair back then, I remember watching a video on it at Toy Fair. This was supposed to be all metallic, like um, it was supposed to be like that um, that shiny steel figure that we took a look at, um, like like. Um, that vacuum metal or whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, it looks really awesome right here still, but it would have been really cool if he was like that shiny plastic and uh, his chest glows and everything like that. And then he has like little things that hook on the top right there. A really awesome looking figure. Like I said, it'd have been really nice if they did release this with the Man of Steel line. That way it had that really cool, um, you know, card back. Like you see the other two, uh, two packs right here, maybe even come with a comic book, but who knows? Like I said, maybe the, the line was dying out and they just decided, uh, you know, to shelf it. So, but yep, this is how they look out of the box. Yeah, Mattello just looks really awesome. I really want, kind of want to take this out of the box because I just want to play with it. You ever just look at your toys and be like, you know, I want to play with it. Even, but it's it's old, and I think I got this for like you know ten bucks back in the day. I think it goes for like thirty or forty dollars now. So, but and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it in the plastic. But it looks really awesome. That Mattello just looks really cool. A great addition to this collection right here. Just like the King Shark was. I don't have that King Shark and Superboy box, but I'm looking for it. But it'll be it's, when I do get it. I'm definitely gonna add it to this collection right here on the shelves okay now here's one of the three vehicles that came out in this line like i said there's uh the superboy uh, um vtol cycle and then there's the matrix conversion coupe superman's car and then there's also that uh kryptonian battle suit like i said i don't have so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this like i said i'm not gonna take this out of the box maybe uh, one day i'll do a review of just the vehicles and i'll take them out of the box and take a look at them because they're easier to put back inside the box all right but yeah, taking a look at this, I already measured it out for you guys. It's nine inches long by five and a half inches tall. 
by two and a half inches in depth, okay? So if you guys are buying this, that's how much shelf space you're gonna need, all right? You can see that really cool artwork. Kenner's you know, known for having you know amazing artwork on the front of their boxes. I think that's really cool. Like I said, it just uh, lets you know right here, high-tech motorcycle converts into a pursuit jump jet, which really makes no sense because Superboy can fly. So I don't know why he would need a jet, but hey, you know, um, any kind of toy vehicle to add to the line is really cool. Taking a look at the side right there. And on the back, you can see the figure sit. This is actually what the vehicle looks like. Let you know this um, Superboy, Superman's cool teen clone, cruises the streets of Metropolis in a style on his high-tech motorcycle that conceals amazing crime-fighting capabilities. Using VTOL, vertical takeoff landing technology, his cycle converts to a high-speed jump jet that instantly launches Superboy into airborne action. Yep, right there. And then right here, just let you know uh, what features it has. The back wheels, they fold out, and that's what basically makes it fly, take off flying. So, And then it has a little claw that shoots out the side, and you can use that to snare villains right there. And that's what that claw is right there. Yep. And that Superboy doesn't come with this. That's a Superboy that came in that single carter figure we took a look at earlier, right? But yeah, like I said, maybe I'll do a review, uh, a separate review on just these vehicles and I'll take them out of the box for you guys, okay? Okay, now last but not least, we're taking a look at that Man of Steel Matrix Conversion Coupe. This right here is Clark Kent's vehicle, basically, when he's driving around being a reporter. But if you need to turn into Superman, you could just pull the lever forward and he'll, he'll have another Superman figure in the back, basically, that comes forward. And then that's how he transfers from Clark Kent into Superman. Now, this vehicle can also open up wings and it can uh, fly into space, I guess, you know? But, uh... You know, who knew? You know, I thought that was just something you've seen on uh, um, Fast and the Furious. So, but uh, yeah, this thing ends up flying in space. I've already measured the box out for you guys. It came out to 17 and a half inches long by eight and a half inches tall by four inches in depth. So that's how much shelf space you're going to need if you're going to be displaying this on a shelf. All right, guys, inside the box. Now you can see right here, it comes with an exclusive Clark Kent figure. There he is right there. He has his suit on. Not really a suit, just like a, like, you know, like a nice jacket, some nice slacks or whatever. But, yep. Kind of like the exclusive figure that came out in the Superpowers line back in the day. Remember that uh, Clark Kent figure that came out in a nice blue suit uh, for the Superpowers line? I actually don't have that figure to compare them. But, yeah, this right here is a really cool looking figure as well. Yep. Like I said, I'm not going to take this out of the box. But I will one day for you guys. This right here is the features. Take off the control. Um, uh, take the control with Clark Kent. Basically, you can pop up that canopy right there, and as you can see, you can change car into a space jet as Clark Kent becomes Superman. I think uh, Superman ends up fitting in there. You just pull it forward, and he ends up. Uh, I think the Superman fits in the front, and then Clark Kent fits in the back, as you guys can see right there. And if you guys pull that back, then you'll see the Superman figure right there. Yep. Yeah. Then you hook on that piece right there. Ends up shooting them little discs. The wings pop out, as you guys can see right here. And then right here, you guys can hook on those uh, little discs on the um, uh, on the wheels, basically. You know, little Superman hubcaps. So, you yeah. know, you guys can pause that if you guys want to read it. There's the proof of purchase. Yeah, really cool vehicle. I actually didn't have this vehicle. I did have the Bruce Wayne Custom Coupe. If you guys know what I'm talking about, I think it was the Batman the Animated Series. Or they also came out with it for Batman Returns, that Batman Returns movie with uh, Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito. Uh, where he had like a, a car, Bruce Wayne's car, but you you know push a button and it ends up turning into some kind of like assault vehicle, like a Batmobile. So kind of the same deal with this right here. But let's go ahead and do a couple honorable mentions real quick. Would have really liked to see Supergirl right here. I don't care which version. It would have been really nice to have Supergirl in this line right here. Um, I know it's you know not going to happen now because these are old figures, like I said, from 95, 96. But I would have really liked to see Supergirl in this line. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, like I said, these are some really awesome toys. Uh, a lot of them I had when I was growing up. A lot of them I played with. Some of them I didn't. But um, if you guys had these toys back in the day, I'm sure you guys had a lot of fun playing with them. Well, I hope you guys liked the review. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and stay tuned. And I'll see you guys next time.